want to share with you the following story that happened a few days ago. A very, very close friend of mine is uh, he rides with Yichud Atzala, working on uh, helping the people of Jewish, the Jewish people in Eretz Yisrael. And he had a recent call, and he shows up. It's uh, basically someone there's concerned might be a stroke, a stroke victim, and they show up and they uh, he's not feeling so well. He's a little disoriented. And they go through a series of testing. They take blood pressure. Um, they, uh, they try to see his vitals, obviously, pulse, and speak to him. And the question they usually ask at the very end is, is anything bothering you? Mashu mafrilacha, anything bothering you? And uh, this man, about 80 years old, says, yes, something's bothering me. They quickly run. Okay, everyone gathers around. This is a very important information to get. If he's able to communicate what's bothering him, they could go a long way towards telling the, uh, the doctors at the hospital you know what he's feeling? So he looks, and they all come in close, and he says, the Yitzhahara is bothering me. Wow, they're so excited. What an unbelievable story. This, you know, this, this, we have the partials we're doing right now with, with, with Yaakov and, and meeting with Esav. And this, uh, this concept, this idea, the Yitzhahara is bothering me, is a very important concept. We know Yaakov is doing battle with the Sarushal Esav, Chazal tell us, with Esav's spiritual counterpart. In other words, the Yetzirah. And during the battle, as, uh, as the morning is, is, is coming upon them, and uh, the Sarosh Lesev asks for release, the battle's over, he has not won, it's a stalemate, he wants to go. To which uh, Yaakov and the Sarosh Lesev exchange names. Yaakov says the name is Yaakov, and the, the angel renames him to Yisrael. And when Yaakov asks his angel, you know, what's your name? The angel seems to refuse to tell him. He says, Lama zetzi why are you asking me my name? To which Yaakov lets him go. That's how the story ends in the, in the text of the Chumash. Rechaim Shmuel Levitz brings out an unbelievable idea. The reason why Yaakov wanted to know the angel's name in the first place was because if the angel represented the spiritual counterpart to, to Esav, that means it's the Yetzirah. And a name is the essence. The Swarner brings down when Adam would name every of the, all the animals in the beginning of creation, he was trying to understand their essence. The name is an essence. What's the essence of the Yetzirah? And the angel doesn't tell him. But says Rechaim Shulevitz, the angel did tell him. I know it's a weird name. We don't name our kids this at, uh, you know, when, when they're born. But the name, according to Rechaim Shulevitz, this, the angel of the Yetzirah, the spiritual counterpart of Esau for Russia, was the Lama Zetish al Why do you ask me my name? Why do you want to know? Eh, just do it because it feels good. It makes sense. Just, you know, it doesn't have to make sense even. Do it because you want to. That's why. The, when, you, when you wake up, take a second, you ask the name. At that point in time, the gig is up. The muscle it brings down, the measures brings down the muscle. The HR is really like a, uh, like a, a crippled man. He's got no legs. He can't run after you. And he, you're walking by him and he says, give me all your money. You're like, oh. Okay, what do you want? I'll give you anything you want. If you would take a second, be like, what? One second. Who are you? What are you? Why would I do that? The game is over. The Yitzhara is just a bother to us. It's just a bother. What's bothering you? The Yitzhara is bothering you. When you realize I'm not the Yitzhara, it's, it's, it's part of me, it's inside of me, but it's causing me distress. I want to work on it. I want to focus my time on being a better person. Then you're able to thrive and to grow. We don't define ourselves by Yitzhar, but realize it's part of, you know, part of maybe of a nature we have, but one that is fightable, one that we see Yaakov Avinu struggle with and is able to, to come to an agreement with. Of, now I get to know you better. I understand where you are better. Now I'm prepared more to challenge you and have, when you challenge me. And that's this lesson of this elderly man, as he's 80 years old already, been through a lot of his life, and he's going through a physical struggle. And he's able to point his finger and say, the Yitzhahara is what truly, really bothers me. We should be Zoha, we should merit to be aware of what the true struggles we have in life are. And to know that no matter what's going on around us, we have the ability and the recipe for success. To look in the mirror and say, why would I do this? This is what's best for me. So we head towards Hanukkah and a time period when the light will shine upon all Jews, we should be Zoha, to see the true light in the world and be able to connect to that in the highest level.